Oh, so so we're gonna do some co some chat blocks today. I'm gonna show you guys how the chat block stuff works. Now what? I was thinking that I can just show you a bunch of bunch of things of, of how you can do different chat blocks because right now the chat blocks challenge is going on and the deadline is November 27th and so just you can make any chat block it doesn't have to be some like big co complex thing you can even make just like a simple command like even even something like this is plenty okay that's okay but we got some prizes we got some fun prizes like the fluffington badge and we're gonna pick three winners this time and so and so today i'm gonna show you guys how you can use chat blocks to do all those things it's gonna be a fun time yeah see like mammal made that one all day well inspire me i like that one late tomorrow with today by elizabeth frowning and we made an animal crossing one like we can say it's me even saying gwen says mind your manners or someone else will oh oh and oh fluffy fact air sick mammals oh wait wait inspire me was done by wapolia wasn't it wapolia made the inspire me command and 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 superhero superhero was cool because that one was made by shades of pixie yeah and air sick mammal was a galactic wolf yes and and air sick mammal made fluffy fact with with his son and so it says, did you know that a cat's brain is biologically more similar to a human brain than it is to a dog's? Both humans and cats have identical regions in their brains that are responsible for emotions. And, and there's general fluff, that was also another command that made. And, and Arizona Mammal, did you know that daylight savings time is now observed in the state of Arizona and parts of Indiana? Only parts of Indiana though. That's gotta be confusing. Wow. And Simrose is a professional stranger. Professor Stranger. Oh, <laughs> Professor Strange. Oh, oh, look at this quote. Afrin burns like heck, but it works. Afrin? Afrin? I don't know what Afrin is. But this is pretty cool. Alright, so what kind of chat block should we make? Here is, here is how you can make a simple command. Simple command with chat block. So this is this is kind of like the 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 tutorial, the the very first thing that you get. So what this means is on command, which is over here on command, you can you can click and drag any of these out here, and then this is the, the channel that it goes in. So if you want it, sign in as your as your bot, then you can. For one one thing to note is that the channel point reward on channel point reward will only work when you when you're signed in as the streamer, but these other commands will work fine as as any command oh it's an allergy medicine ah okay for doing your company and suck the hold you guys back nope it's fine it's totally fine it actually only does the five top players of the of the team and so and so yeah it's like like whoever contributes the most points it'll do up to five and then and then it does like this whole like scaled thing so if there's only one person on the team or like two people on the team then it'll use those but yeah yeah, it's no problem at all. I would love for everyone to join in the team. Yeah, it's gonna be so cool. Mm -hmm. And the more the merrier. Yeah, I don't use nose sprays anymore because they even nose booties. Oh, dang. Yeah, I gotta be, be careful with that stuff too. Yeah. Okay, so this is the on command. And the way it works is on command assumes that it's, it's an exclamation point command. So in here, you can go to text and you can be like, this command is going to be uh, like fall challenge, for instance. All right, this will be like like coding game tomorrow. And then there's a bunch of different actions. These are all the different data or like info that that, that are Twitch related. And so it's like if there are subscriptions, then, then it's going to be like subscription is prime, subscription to your number, all of these things, or user is a founder, all of these. And so what we can do is fall challenge. We're going to do a say command. And in this say command, it can be like, kabam, coding game fall challenge. Join, join me in the coding game fall AI, AI competition. And then just run the blocks. And then you can just type in xmage point fall challenge. And voila, it works. It's pretty easy, right? That's like the, the easiest thing you can do. 
And so here's here's another thing we can do. I'll show you some more demos. Let's see, I need more space. Mm, this is probably a good space. Steven Bevan, how are you doing? Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Here we go. What if we wanted to make a, a command that, that gets a, a, a random item out of a list, right? So the first thing we're going to need is a list, right? So we're going to do list. Make list from text separated by commas. And so something's happening out there. So then we can make a test text and we can pick, make a list like, um, let's see, we'll be, uh, huh. what are Christmas ornaments that, that we could use, right? Or, or like trees, types of trees or, or, or ooh, 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 animals. We can, we can do aquatic animals like tree. Rolling, thank you so much for the supports, the supports. Why did that turkey cross around twice? To prove he wasn't a chicken! <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub parts, Rowley! Aw, oh, dang! Oh, dang, I appreciate that so much and I appreciate all of the jokes and the puns that you bring us because that makes my day. I love them. They're so fun, and I hope you enjoy the emotes. That's five old emotes to spread the wild love everywhere. I still can't believe we have five old emotes, and so I hope you enjoy them. I hope you use them as much as you can, as much as you like, and thank you for being a part of our community. Oh, dang, that's wow. very, very kind of you. Oh, look at that. The emotes. Thank you for using them. Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy smokes. Dang. Welcome back to the Super Fluffs for a whole, a whole five whole months. Wow, sir. Dang. That's a long time already. What in the world? Frank! Frank, how are you doing? How's it going today? Check this out. Check this out. We're going through different chat blocks today. And and so we did a command. This is I showed how to do a command because we're gonna start the AI competition for coding game tomorrow. But now I'm also gonna show you guys how you can make a command that, that picks that picks an item from a random random selection, random collection of, of them. So we can be like, like clownfish, or we can be like, hmm, what's another item? Oh, oh, squid, octopus, uh, jellyfish. What's, what are more aquatic things? Dolphin, hmm, shark, uh, whale, um, hmm. What's another, what's another aquatic, um, oh, oh, otter, uh, let's see, we need more aquatic, aquatic animals, let's see, seahorse, ooh, seahorse, that's a good one, yeah, we already got a tree, got the ASCII one set up, parrotfish, a parrotfish, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm separating them using commas because the commas are what's going to be used at the delimiter. So we can do parrotfish. We could do, um, let's see, narwhal. Uh, those are like unicorn whales. Um, clam. And crab. And pufferfish. We could do uh, tuna. What's a trigger fish? What's that? Oh, swordfish, lionfish, swordfish, and let's see, what's another one? Hmm, maybe one more. Catfish, catfish. Okay, so now we got an entire list. When I was a kid, I went to Maine with my cousin, and jellyfish was on the shore, and we kept on poking with the stick. All oh, right. <laughs> oh yeah, we got clownfish in here too. We love Nemo, love the clownfish. I have no idea what's happening. I think they're washing their car. Classic Chris, Classic Chris, how are you doing today? How's it going? Happy, happy Wednesday. Another cool streamer. How have it going? How have you been? Hope you're having a good week. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much. I'm showing off chat blocks. Have you tried this yet? So what this is gonna do is we're gonna create a command 
and we'll create this and we'll name it um, let's see how about like exclamation point fish right I don't think we have a command for it or or maybe we'll, we'll call it yeah, yeah we'll just call it fish because it'll be like exclamation point fish and then what we'll do is doo -doo -doo -doo, we'll reply because reply will put in that person's name right at the beginning and so then we'll say from text we'll create the text and create text puts multiple pieces of text together and so this should be good coco coco how are you doing happy happy wednesday happy wednesday yeah oh how's your voice oh no did you get sick again we're slowly healing oh oh get lots of tea please oh. triggerfish you sound as defense oh, whoa that sounds cool i gotta check out triggerfish i like all the really fascinating fascinating underwater creatures those are my favorite ones oh we could put in like frogs and turtles in here too the turtle frog that's those are good ones and so then what we gotta do is we have to select one so we have to do in list we have to get so in here in this list we can get a random item like this and then voila voila we don't need this one but in this list we got a random item you just have to click this and then you can say get random item instead of a number or first or last and so then we do that and then i'm gonna extend the create text you click this gear button and then you can add however many items you want so you can say uh reply oh this will have the number or the, the person's name already in there and so I want to use a put a space in there, and then it'll be like space, space meets a oh catches, and then that, and then I'll put in an exclamation point to finish it. Yeah, like this. With that, that's it. Pretty easy, right? Don't forget. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, thank you, Apollo. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put that in here too. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's too long. Ah yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. So now, if I run it, if you do exclamation point fish, we'll see. Bam! I caught an octopus. <laughs> I got an octopus, folks. My voice is getting burned by LPR. Silent. Acid reflux for over over a year, <gasps> but it's recovered for about a month now, and apparently it could take five more months. And, but I'm before I'm mostly back to oh dang, it's gotta be a lot of stress there too. Dang, but I've been able to talk more lately, so it's not so bad. That's good. That's good. Well, if you ever need, if you ever need, what you can do is you can do you can use the text to speech in this and chat blocks, and then make it work. Which I will show you how to do that next. That should be a fun time. And Dev Merlin landed on target for 61 points. Congratulations. Dev Merlin says, Oh, I know how that feels. I take Prilosec to prevent just that and have partial paralysis that affects my vocal cords too. Oh no. Oh no. Take care of those voices, the beautiful voices, folks. Simrose caught a shark. Song Fox caught an otter. And oh wait. I don't think we got a we got a shout out for Song Fox yet either. Yeah, Song Fox is a wonderful artist. Ooh, and Gotham got a pufferfish, and Mopoli got a tuna. Oh, I love these. It's it's Prilosec. Oh, oops, oops. <laughs> oh no, Ninja Ninja. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. Hold on, it should be it should work. Saying Phoebe, there it goes. Thank you for all the bits. Thank you so so much, Chris, and thank you for all the lurks. And Fetty, how are you doing? How's it going? How are you doing, fine? So I'm doing well. We're going through and I'm showing off how you can do a bunch of different things with chat blocks because then you could join in for the chat blocks challenge round three. Here it is. Chat blocks challenge round three. CB challenge .tv. In fact, let's make a command out of this. Let me show you. Here we go. I'm going to show you how to do a, a, a new command. And be like, command. Here's another one. So there's a fall challenge, right? And then here it is. We'll make a we'll make one for CB challenge. And then oh wait, maybe we'll just do challenge. 
challenge and then we'll have it say it will announce it in chat and so on this will be good you should run chat blocks into its own website and extend them to youtube that would be cool maybe we can do that like chatblocks.com or something yeah you know, maybe someday i'm not sure it works here for now it'll be fine <laughs> I I wanna I wanna put this like I started integrating it into into Stream Poppy, but I haven't finished that yet. I just need a lot more time to do all these things. Got all these already ideas, but I just don't have enough time. But here's what I'm gonna put in here. I'm gonna be like challenge, and then it's like chat blocks challenge round three is happening. three prizes to win so join in and then and everyone has a chance join in at kabam cb challenge and fluff.tv and so then just do that and then now we do exclamation challenge and voila it works just like that Pretty easy, right? ZV, how are you doing? Ryan the Scratch, yo, yo, yo. It's built on Blockly, Google's Blockly uh, module library framework, and and Scratch actually uses this now too. Yeah, and Micro Muffin, you landed on target for 86 points. Congratulations! And people would love it. And if you could, if you could extend it as a bot system for Twitch custom bots, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool. All snap. Imagine if this was actually like built into Twitch. That would be pretty neat. That would be even better. But hey, Twitch, Twitch, you're listening. You listening? You could put in chat blocks in there for us. Maybe, maybe you could hire me to to put this in there. I I would put that in there. <laughs> could do like a sponsor to sponsor us. <laughs> that would be awesome. Nay, hey, no, that was not me. How are you doing, Luffy McFloof? Also. Also, Nami is a mini RAR who is making mug recipes. We love mug recipes. Yeah. And RAR will leave the on target for 53 points. Congratulations. <laughs> Alright. Classic Chris, I hope you're ready for this. This is how you could use text to speech. Yes. Okay, so for instance, if you wanted to do, uh, let's see, no abuse just yet. No boost, but you could do on command uh, text. I guess we'll do it like TTS, right? And then just do on command like this. And this this part, the second part, isn't actually part of the. That's just like a built-in um, one. But you can do chat message like that. And then the rest of the message afterwards is going to be text speech like this. Hello everyone. I am our Fluffy robot. Oh, oh, what? It broke. Oh no! I was I was trying to press F12 and instead I pressed plain screen. Rip. Okay. Huh. That should have worked. What happened? What did I break? And try this again. Hiya! I broke it. Aborted? No, no, that's not right. This should be fine. Texas based chat message. Uh oh, I broke it. Hmm. Oh, I I spelled TTS wrong. I wrote T T S S. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Let's draw this again. Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? I broke it. I broke it. <laughs> Oops, going to lurk it. All right, sounds good, Sam Rose. Feel better too. Get some, get some warm lunch. Maybe hot soups for lunch. Just love the Korok. Yeah, yeah. What did I break? You're not running. <laughs> Professional Kona. <laughs> you know that would probably help. Oh my gosh. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I am a fluffy robot. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my golly. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be such a dirt. Wow. 
<laughs> I'm gonna check to make sure it's plugged in or not. No, no, plug it in. Oops. <laughs> oh, oh, let me show you how you can also debug. Now that, now that I can show you, so if you press F12, it brings up the console window. You got like on, on elements and sources and network, but console debug, this is the debugger. This is the, this is where all of the, the debug information of any website will show up. And so what you can do is you go to extra and you go to log de to debug console. And then you can be like, all right, let's see. I want to check if, if we can, we can, I want to check if the person is say, um, like, moderator right log debug to console then then because because then we could we could check if the permissions right so then we can be like run blocks and then oh look look at that it's working i'm going to zoom in so you can actually see it and then i can be like all right tts hello hello everyone i am a fluffy robot i'm a fluffy robot and so in here it says false because i'm not a moderator i'm a broadcaster and so those are the kind of things that you can also see which means when we do this, we can limit the TTS file or function, this command, to just those here. I'll show you. you can be like, or so. So here we can be like, is moderator, or do 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 do. Where to go? User is the broadcaster. So if the user is the broadcaster or the moderator, I'm gonna remove this one. Then you'll be able to do the chat message. So then I can be like, bam. Hello everyone. Now I'm I am able a to do it. Robot. And mods can do it. You can also add in other things like you can be like, all right, if you are, if the user is a founder, if the user is a subscriber, if there's a, v, if they're a VIP, and so and so. Oh, sorry, Samrose. Hold on, hold on. You can also add more. Uh, if let's see, I think you can also do. Oh wait, they don't let you do more than more than two. So I guess what you can do is yeah or and or so you can do like or moderator or let's see or let's see da, 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 da. user is a VIP right then they can do text to, text to switch like this user is broadcaster or mod or vip user is broadcaster or mod or vip ah it works just like that just like that and so that's how you can check for different permissions and so there's there's another way you can do it and then let's see here's here's another thing that we could do um so, so now you can do like text to speech right so like like classic chris if, if classic chris's voice goes out and then you're just like okay well how am i going to talk how can i talk to someone if i can't actually talk then now you can use this text to speech and be like all right let me use my twitch channel chat <laughs> or twitch yeah my twitch chat to use text to speech so that i can talk to people <laughs> and now it's totally possible <laughs> and then here w w another thing that i'll show you guys how to do hello for instance, everyone Vic, Vic, thank you for the bits. Oh snap. Oh snap. Thank you so much for all of these bits all the time. Dang, that's a lot. You guys are way too kind. Here, let me show you a channel point. Alright, here. First I'll show you this as a as a command. So let's say we wanted to do um, like a sound effect. Like uh sound effects, SFX. And then we can play a sound and play a song from URL. And so you might be wondering, like, let's see. You might be wondering, how can I play a sound? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go to downloads. <laughs> You're like, how can I play a sound, like a wave file? And you could play it from the internet. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Or here's here's the thing that, that the genius, the genius streamer MS Gamer, figured out that we can do let me see ooh, ooh, womp womp right is this what i think it is <laughs> oh boy oh boy is that the one got? Oh. B 
bubbles. Bubbles, we need bubbles, folks. We need bubbles. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what you do. So I have a I have a bot spans channel in here, which which is hidden from most people because this is just for bots. So then you can test like bot commands and everything in here. And so here's the thing. You can use Discord. You, you probably don't want to do this with really big files, but this is the bubbles are really cool. Oh wait, why is it like 293 kilobytes? That should be much smaller than that. Uh, but it's not, it's not bad. It's not even like a megabyte. So we can be like, bubbles! And then you take this, you get the link, copy, copy link. And that should be the link to, oh rip, it downloaded it. Okay, well, well, I can't preview there, but, but I copied that link, right? And so I can put this here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do this as exclamation point bubbles, right? And this is how you can you can play a sound using chat blocks like this. Now we got exclamation point bubbles. That's pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool, I'm crazy. And so and so and you can change the the volume of it. You can be like, I'm gonna change the volume to like. 60 and then that's pretty good that's pretty good cover verity how are you doing how's it going happy happy wednesday we're we're showing how to do all the different kind of stuff in chat blocks and so with these bubbles for instance say that we wanted to make a channel point reward for bubbles then then i put this in here and instead of this command for bubbles which, which still is pretty cool. Maybe, maybe here's what we'll do. We'll have a command for bubbles, and then, and then we can have this as a duplicate. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Where'd it go? Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna bring this up here. I'm gonna reuse this. And ba. And ba. Okay. So if the user is broadcaster, monitor, or VIP, then you will be able to use bubbles, and then. And then we'll be like channel point reward. So we're gonna make this channel point reward, and we'll say if the the channel point reward name. So what we need to do is we gotta check for the name, and this works because I'm the broadcaster. I'm signed in as the broadcaster. If you sign in as the bot and you're trying to do channel point rewards, then it won't work. But this will work. You know what you can do? Here's the other thing. Here, I'll show you another thing after this, but if the channel point reward name equals, okay, we're gonna do the text title. We're gonna say this equals bubbles. Okay, and then I bring this down here. I'm gonna show you how to make a channel point reward name bubbles. So we'll do manage rewards. Wow. I'm gonna show you how we can make a channel point reward that's gonna play bubble sounds. And so we go to manage rewards, um, custom rewards. We will create a new custom reward. Yeah, add new custom reward, and the name is gonna have to match. So we're gonna do bubbles because because we named it bubbles with an exclamation point. Yeah, we did bubbles, and bubbles, and then it's like bubbles, more bubbles, and the amount we'll set it to like one because we wanna. We want to just test it out for now, and we want this to be blue because they're about bubbles, and, and we love bubbles. Wow. Yeah, that's like a bubble color. Bubble bath. Okay, and then skip rewards request queue. Yes, that sounds fine. And do we want cooldown limits? Generally, probably. Probably you want cooldown limits, so we'll do like cooldown minutes of maybe one minute. That's probably pretty good. And then you just create it. And now it should be way up here. Bubbles, right there. It's an, And it's enabled. And so it, it doesn't work yet. Don't use it yet. Don't use it just yet. But let me show you how this is gonna work. So now if we do run blocks, then you go here into chat and then look at that. It says bubbles. And so then we're like, why is it on cooldown? Why is it on cooldown? Rip. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the cooldown for, for a bit. Okay, 
we're just gonna do this and save it okay and then and then I will show you how it works because I need to get rid of that cooldown okay here we go so many balls it's so good it sounds like a water cooler it's working <laughs> it's so good <laughs> don't you love it <laughs> we got bubbles everywhere i love it i love it so much we're like bubbles and bubbles and bubbles <laughs> now it's a bubble bath <laughs> and so and so imagine simro simros save your save your mug cakes for a bit because i'm gonna i'm gonna stop the blocks and so, and so, save it for a second. Here we go. Okay, now imagine if we wanted to do lots of bubbles at the same time, right? Then we can have not just these bubbles, but we can create a loop and we can repeat this 10 times, right? And so we're like 10, 10 bubbles at a time. And because if they just all play at once, then, then it's just gonna sound like really loud bubbles for for a short amount of time so instead we're gonna do this maybe like repeat four and then and then i think we can do oh oh wait, wait wait we have to do this instead of repeat we have to do this one because we want to count and we want to put i in there so we can do i in the variables and so then we're going to repeat for i seconds so it'll be like one second and then from one to five by one and then so after waiting for five seconds then it's gonna play this so then it's gonna do it for five whole seconds can you imagine this is this is gonna be a five seconds of bubbles hope you're ready this means <laughs> time to stretch all right yeah i gotta stretch my neck backwards and then let's do these bubbles Hi -ya. there it goes oh no it's too long it's too long what I need to do is wait for not I seconds but I need to do math so we are going to actually divide this we're gonna do oh, oh. where's i here it goes so what we need to do is divide this we have to do i and then divide it by where's divide what oh oh divide divide by you know, let's do like mm, 10 10 yeah it's gonna be a bunch and then we're gonna do count from 1 to 10 and so it's gonna be like one second but there's gonna be like 10 bubbles that go and I think this will work yeah Nick the first stone ask your question oh yeah can you make a custom API call oh 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 hi Nick Nick how are you doing you can make a custom API call using this get from web URL so this makes uh, so I'll, I'll show you another thing that we can do real quick yeah thank you for asking the question thank you so much i'll show you this right after this right after we test this out and so here now if we do this we go wah, and then bubbles <laughs> oh no there's so many <laughs> wait, wait, wait. oh real there's so many bubbles! Or John. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Holy smokes! There's so many bubbles, everyone! Oh my golly! 
<laughs> Look at this jet. What is happening? <laughs> Melly Koala, happy, happy Wednesday. All right, give me one second. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Don't waste your, don't waste your mock kicks yet. Oh! oh! <laughs> don't waste it. Don't waste it. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. Whoa. I think it needs to wait for like, wait for half a second, because otherwise it's gonna be too many. Because I, I think 10 seconds was too, or like like tenth of a second, a hundredth of a second. That was yeah. That was no. It was like a tenth of a second was still still too fast, I think. So it needs to wait, wait like half a second, and then do it for maybe maybe five. So that's gonna be like two two point five seconds. I think that'll be good. And I, yeah, I think that makes sense. I'm gonna try this again. Let's try bubbles. It seems to still wait for when this is done. I think the problem is that it's waiting for the sound to to finish before moving on to the next one. Uh, play song from your own. Huh. Hmm. That's the problems. That's the problems. Because it's supposed to play a whole bunch of bubbles, but what it does is it waits for this to finish before going on to the next board loop. And so, uh, what well, should be fine? That's ah, fine. All right. Well, anyway, anyway, I wanted to do that. I thought that would be pretty cool. All right. So, so now the next question. Can you do a custom API call? So, so it is a little bit limited right now that, that it, it has to get it in text format and then you have to parse it. But that's why we added this like JSON, JSON blocks and the list blocks and everything too. The color blocks don't really do too much right now. But the, the way to do this is imagine so we have a dad joke command, right? But here, I'll, I'll name it something different so that you can see what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna call this, let's see, exclamation point funny. And then this should be really simple. It'd be like say. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say something where we get it from the URL. And the URL is going to be, check this out. HTFAS, uh, I can has dad joke. I think it's API. Yeah. So if we do random joke, the API is the endpoint is you just do a get on it. Okay, so it's just this. So if you just do this, kappa babum, then as simple as that, you can do a dad joke command. So now you do exclamation point funny and it says, Doctor, you've got to help me. I'm addicted to Twitter. Doctor says, I don't follow you. Get it, get it. Ah. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? It's super simple to do, and that's all you gotta do. But but then you can get from web URL, and if you want to send data to the URL, then there's there's this one. You can do send to web URL. So you put in the URL and then the message that you want to send it. So like, like you can put in a text message, you can put in some numbers, you can put anything like that in there. And then here's, here's another thing that might be really useful. How about I show you guys how you can save data to be persistent across multiple things. So, so if you wanted to say like a counter, like on command, we could be It'd be like load from browse storage. So so this wouldn't be the most optimal way to do it, obviously, but I think this will work. Say that we want to make a counter command. It'd be like da 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 da. Mm, we can do xmage point uh, chipmunk, because that's kind of like a squirrel, but not really. And then, or, or acorns. We'd be like acorns. How about we have like however many acorns that we've we've collected so far? It's annoying. I don't know how to do do like my my Pokemon command with Pokemon ID. Oh, oh, like with parameters. 
with parameters. I'll show you how to do that soon. And Nolan, how are you doing? Those, those bubbles is, is, is disabled at the moment. Or I, I'm, I'm not running the blocks, but but I'll enable it again very soon. Patrick, Patrick, happy, happy Wednesday. You can create cross Twitch user competition with HTTP requests. Yep. Yeah, if you like to get web URL and send URL. Pretty cool, right? I'm going to show you how to do a, a, a counter, like a, like a counter here. So here, if we do acorns, every time someone does it, exclamation point acorns, the idea is we can have a count up from zero. And so here's what we'll do. We got to we gotta print it out, right? And then we can be like, load text from browse storage. And then we'll say, mm hmm. I think we have to parse it. I think it's math. Evaluate? No, not evaluate. Mm. Ben Bash official. How are you doing? Thank you for the follow. I love Chinese food. Mm. Chinese food sounds so good today. What day is it? Oh, it's not Friday yet. It's not Friday. On Fridays, they have special deals at Safeway on the Chinese food. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Yum. And Nolan's an amazing puppy dinosaur enjoys opening presents. Wah! <laughs> okay. So what we want to do is, is we have to parse these numbers. And I think there's a way to do this. I'm trying to think. Mm, do we have to parse it somehow here? Random integer from. Not random integer. And not evaluate. Uh, is even. Hmm. There's definitely a way to do this. Oh, parse. Is that right though? I feel like there's a better way to do this. I guess we can. Hmm. I was so sure that there's there's a number thing here. Pi? No, round. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. Sum of list. Random integer from, it's not the random integer, random fraction, we can do random fractions, that's pretty neat. Remainder of, what is this? Square root, absolute, negative, whoa. I'm learning, I'm learning about all the different, different blocks that are in here. <laughs> Has anyone tried doing a mail with chat blocks? I don't think so, not yet, but that would be pretty neat to add in here too. And chat blocks is open source right now, so so we can we can do a lot of things and have pull requests and everything here too. But I'm just showing how to do uh, how how to save a counter so that even if you if you even if you stop running the blocks and then run it back, then it still saves it. And so here's what I'll do: load text and then text. It, we can do text to item with pen text to URL. No, we don't want it to URL. We want it to be a number. And so I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get the, the round like this, round up. Hmm, that's not it either. I'm looking to see if there's, an, there's a way to parse a number, like, like get a text and then, and then add one to it. And so I don't think there is one. We might have to add that. Huh. Maybe it'll work anyway. I'm going to try it. No, it doesn't take the text. Huh. Length of. No, that's not it either. Maybe there's functions, no? Change. Set I to. That's not going to be it either. Wow. I don't think we have one yet. We, we need we need a, a text to number function. What? I seriously can't believe it. It's in variables. It's in variables. Wait. I don't think it is waves, but it should be. If it, so if we can send requests, technically command can make you coffee and make you connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. It's going to be so fun. 
And so yeah, that was one of the first things I put in so that you can actually start like sending requests and getting requests because then you can start doing a lot of web requests and, and hook it up to other servers and everything. And so that's why, that's why it, it opens up a lot of things and you can do a lot. And, and the, the only thing here is I need to make sure, I need to get and convert this text from a browser storage over to a number. And so that's the only part that we're, we're lacking at the moment. But there's gotta be. Round up. All right. It doesn't take it. We're gonna have to do a JSON parse, stringify or parse, and so that would be fine. We're gonna parse load text from browser storage, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna ta take this one, and we're gonna call it Acorn Count, and so we're parsing it, and we're going to put that into a variable. Let's see. Here's how we're gonna do it. Acorns. And so we're gonna set acorns to this. And then, and then if there's nothing there, if the text doesn't have anything, actually, I don't think we even need this. We don't even need this inside the command. I guess what we should do is we can put it on, on start. On start is, is the function that gets called when once everything is loaded and it's connected. And so this will be good. And so then we set it to parse on here. And when we do that, then if this doesn't have anything, load text. So then we can say, if acorns doesn't have anything, then we need to set it to zero. Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy smokes! Aries, you have a new sub badge! Wah! 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 Nolan, thank you for the stretch break! Wah! 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 Thank you so much for the supports! Thank you, Dutch! Thank you, Dutch, for the supports, the gift subs. And Aries, thank you so much for being here so I can get gifted a sub, which means now you have a new sub badge because you've been here. Been, well, it's been longer than nine months, but but welcome to back to Super Fluffs for nine whole months. I hope you enjoy the emotes. That's five whole emotes to spread the wild of everywhere, which means you can use the emotes as much as you can, as much as you like, and then you can use it as everywhere in the in the entire world of Twitch and Discord. <laughs> Holy moly! Thank you so so much. Oh my golly! Oh my golly. Okay, so this is this is the plan. You can parse from the from browser storage, right? And and so we can do this and we can say acorns and so then we can set acorns again. Duplicate. Can we do hmm I'm gonna do like this and round and and then do acorns. Yeah. So then we can round it up. Will be like one or two or whatever it is and so now let's see got thank you for all luck you got a fancy recliner wow so, so this should be it then when we do exclamation point acorns right then we'll be like change acorns and so change acorns by one pop up move it up by one i wonder if this works hold on Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, I was thinking maybe we can load text and then put it here, but you can change it by one. So you just move it up, you, you add one to it, and then we want to save it. Let's see where to go. Uh, extra. Save to the browser storage. This is going to be acorns count, right? I'm going to duplicate it as acorns count, and then we got to save acorns oh. in here. This text. And then duplicate it, and we're gonna put in whoppa, it's like this. I think this will work. Oh, let's try this. Acorns, and it's broken. Why is it broken? Let's find the debugger. Whoa. Uh oh, I broke, folks. I broke it. Yeah. Why is it broken? is broken again <laughs> I wonder why why is it broken <laughs> this is why we need the debugger all right 
Let's do log debug to console. I'm going to debug to console acorns here so that we can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to do that also here and here. So now when we run it, it says it's two. Does it just not think that it's a text? It's, it's working. It's working. It's just not printing it out. All right. Rip. 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 Okay. I'm going to do a text. Okay. We're going to create the text with acorns. Why'd you, why'd you get stuck like that? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to put in with this text. I think I broke my Git server again. We've now collected. Da -da -da -da. We need another one at the bottom. Yeah. Space. Acorns. Acorns. And so now, just like that, this one's a little more complex, right? But check it out. Here's the entirety of the visual, like the source code in, in visual form. And so now, here we go. We can do Soli, Soli, how are you doing? Exclamation point, Soli, folks. How's it going? Happy, happy Wednesday. We're gonna do exclamation point acorns. We've now collected four acorns. And every time you do this, it's gonna save it. But not only that, it's going to also save it across the the instances. So like, like save the browser text. So I'm gonna save this as chat blocks. Oh, saved it as show in folder. And do chat blocks demos that cbs is what i'm gonna save it as but now even if you refresh the browser which look at that it caches it so that you can actually it you don't have to worry about it but now even if i run it it's gonna be like it remembers how many acorns you have because it saved it it saved it into the browser cache and so now it's like oh you collected eight acorns wow Wow, so you can use the counter to do some channel currency. Yup, yup, totally. You could totally do something like that. Or you can use channel points to, oh, I think I got bit by a mosquito, folks, on my leg. Ow. But yeah, doing grand, thanks. That's good. That's good. Thanks for being here. We're showing off some chat blocks. And, and I'm showing off how, how you can use this because we have a chat blocks challenge that's happening right now. Oh, oh, I can run this. I can show you. Smash my challenge. Kabam! So round three is happening where you can actually win one of three of these badges. They're Fluffington badges made by the amazing Alicia Griffin. And so, and so you could win one of them just by making a random chat block. And it doesn't have to be anything super complex. And hopefully this gives you some ideas for how to how to make some chat blocks and some fun ones. And so that's all I gotta do. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> oh yeah, we have bubbles now. And so if you use a whole bunch of bubbles, then then it's like bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. <laughs> Holy smokes! So many bubbles. Holy cream. Growly, how are you doing? How's it going? Happy, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. So, you, so this is this is what we can do. There's so many things that you can do with chat blocks. You can play sounds, you can have channel point redeems for sounds, you can do commands, you can do counters, you can do you can do text to speech, you can do internet things and, and make web requests. You can do all sorts. And so yeah. Yeah, warm hands! Yeah, these are the new ones. We got we got the original ones as well, but these are the limited edition Christmas ones. And so they should be pretty fun and pretty exciting. Yeah. But isn't this pretty cool? So once again, if, if you wanna see how you can do the, the counter. Here I'm gonna I'm gonna simplify this a little bit. Yeah, I don't need to debug these anymore. I can do this. I don't have to log debug to console anymore. Alright. And I don't think I even need to actually round. So I'm gonna I'm gonna remove that. I think this is all we need. I think. Some H point acorns. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely all we need. 
Look at that. So I I saved them into the into the browser storage as as acorn count. But here's the other thing. I think I think we can do it even here. We don't even need to do that there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna test it out with acorn count two. And so it should reset everything to zero. And so now we're gonna do exclamation point acorns. Nope, nope, it's broken. It's broken, why is it broken? Something broke. I broke it, folks. I broke it. Maybe it didn't need the round. I'm gonna change it. We're gonna do acorns and we're gonna round it. Doo -doo -boo -boo -boo. We gotta set acorns to round acorns. Here we go. I think it needs it. I think, just so that it knows that it's a number. And so, here we go again. I broke it! Oh, oh, oh! I'm such a derp! I didn't save it back into the storage. Oops. Whoops. Maybe it's this. Yeah! Alright, let's try this again. Why is it still broken? It's still broken, folks! Rip. Rip. I broke something. I broke something real good. What? <laughs> what did I break? <laughs> what did I break? Acorn count two, and then acorns, and then this is it. And so, set acorns, you parse it, and change acorns. What? There really isn't anything that different, is there? Are there? Maybe? Hmm. It sets acorns to this, and then changes it by one and then saves it back out. Huh. I'm not sure what I broke. This is interesting. This is interesting. <laughs> Thanks for the explosion, by the way. Ba -ba 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 Bam! I'm not sure what I broke. Set acorns parsed to under the text. Maybe it needs to do it once first. Hmm. Yay! I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Haku, Haku. How are you doing? Hooray! Good job. Can you change the set line at the end after say? Yeah after say so like set it here afterwards I don't think that's the issue here unfortunately I think it's here it just gets broken here because it thinks that the set like because there's nothing in here when it parses it it just goes to null and so I have a feeling hmm Angelus love successful broken streams ye all successfully broken streams we definitely need a, a, a parse to, to number. That is something that I, I don't know. I, I can't actually believe that this doesn't exist yet. There, there's no way. There's gotta be. There has to be. What is what is this one? A tan sign and stuff. No way. There's definitely no way. Maybe it's this. Okay. I have an idea. I think this is the problem. Yeah, yeah, this is the problem. This is what we'll have to do. If it's empty. Hmm. 
Yeah, I got it. I got it. If this is empty, and so we need we need an else, right? Oops, else. So we need that else. Then we parse it. Oops, oops. Like this. But otherwise, we have to set it to zero. Like this. Wah, bah, bah, bam. So what we need to do is we have to set this number to zero. If it's eight eight one nine 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 one one nine seven two five three. I can hear my neighbors watching the movie Cats. The new one. The new one. Uh oh. I heard that movie is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second go back Nick's like wait a second wait a second go back and Jupiter thank you for the cake yum yum I think this is the problem it needed to check right now we don't have a parse where it just like parses the or, or changes it from from the from the browser text from text to a, a number but it's supposed to work so yeah I saw I think I saw something that might do parse oh oh in here Hmm. In here? I think it was in text. Oh, okay. There's create text. Two item append text check. And there's length of. Is empty. Two uppercase. Two shrimp spaces. Prompt. Print. Hmm. Hmm. Count occurrences. Yeah. Try the uppercase. The uppercase one has uppercase, lowercase, and title case. So yeah, I don't think it's that unfortunately. Hmm. It's close though. Dang. I wonder why it doesn't have one yet. We'll have to make one. We can make one. It's not a problem. But I'm surprised that there isn't one yet. I mean, there's like these number things. Constrain, 50, low, 5. I don't know what that means. Hmm. I'm going to try something. What if we do this? <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if this will work. Evaluate. Oh, we could do evaluate and plus one. Oh. Because evaluate does the one plus, right? I mean, you can you can do any sort of math you want and just put it in it that uh, figures it out for you. Oh. I have an idea. It won't do the math thing. It'll like do this whole like evaluation thing. But I think this will work. Hmm. I want to try plus, plus one. <sighs> this is going to work. This is, this is actually going to work. Check this out, check this out, check this out. All rip, all rip, all rip. Okay. Okay. I figured it out. I figured it out, folks. Oh, snap. Okay. I might be able to make this work because this is this is what it, this is what we're gonna do save storage as a coin yeah that's fine okay we need to acons evaluate and then what we're gonna do is oops oops okay we're gonna get rid of the acorns variable entirely we don't need this anymore can we yeah we can we can get rid of all of that entirely and so here's what we're gonna do wow we're gonna evaluate. And then plus one. Oh snap! 
Moonfall, Moonfall, thank you so much for the supports. Tier 3 supports! Wow! Moonfall, thank you so much for all the supports throughout 20 whole months. Wow! And welcome back to the Super Flops. I hope you enjoy the emotes. That's 5, it's not 6, but 7. Seven whole emotes to spread the wall of everywhere. That means you can use them as much as you can, as much as you like. Holy crayon moonfall. That's a lot of supports. How are you doing, by the way? How's it going? And Jakey Mac and Gherkin. Gherkin, Gherkin, Gherkin! It was your birthday yesterday! <laughs> Happy happy birthday! Hope you had a wonderful birthday! And how are you doing today? And Moonfall, I hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much again for. 20 whole months of supports! What? Oh my golly, we've been showing off some chat vlogs today. And it's getting there. I think I figured out how we can do a counter command thingy. Make it really easy. Birthday kick with your birthday today. Bop, bop. How do you remember? Oh, we have a birthday bot. And older, how are you doing? How's it going? Happy, happy Wednesday. A lot of sub parts from my favorite my Oh dang. Yeah, that is saying a lot. That's a lot. Dang. Dang. I hope you've been doing alright, Moonfall. How's your family doing? How's everybody there? Are you are you still still doing all okay with all the work things and everything too? Is your mom doing okay? I really hope so. Yeah, thank you for all the supports. Dang. Yeah, and Garkin, did you get some cake? Did you get some cake yesterday? I hope you did. I hope so. This is what we're trying to do. We're we're trying to see if we can we can make it make an put an easy way to do uh, a counter, and I think it'll work. I think like acorn count two, and then plus one. And so let me try this. Check this out. Check this out. X mage point acorns. Let's do it again. Ace me, you buy corns. Okay. Can you believe that? Wow. <laughs> we figured it out. We can use the evaluate command because we can use like like the the math command, the evaluate to to do a plus one by just doing like literally evaluate with whatever loaded plus one. And so there you have it, folks. Here's the easiest way so far that we found to to be able to do a counter. Oh snap! You just load from the browser storage and then plus one and evaluate and then save it back out and then you're like, alright, we not collected and then you just load it again. And it's like there it is. Wow. I can't believe it works. <laughs> I think but parties are allowed in Germany too to shut down. And so oh that's good. You had cake though. Yeah. Yeah. Parties are allowed. But cake is good. Cake, cake is always allowed. We're doing good. We're actually going to move in June. And so I'm excited. We're going to buy a small place. <gasps> that's wonderful news. Oh, dang. Moonfall. That's really wonderful news. Holy cram. <gasps> I'm excited for you. Congratulations. x and congrats. Wow. How's your bunny doing too? I want more bunny pictures. Moonfall's bunny is super adorable. Mmm, cake. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Sim Rose. Thank you all. Yeah, congratulations, Moonfall. Y'all, yeah, thank you, Ollie. Wow. This is neat. I like this. I like this. This works. Oh, snap. We've oh, not collected that many acorns. Okay, so I'm gonna reset it. Instead of acorn count 2, it'll just be like acorn count. And acorn count. And, oops and acorn count and there we go now we got it oops oops that's the wrong one acorns i have another congratulations anyway but now we got the acorn count this is the the counter chat blocks this is pretty cool that was, that's a pretty easy way to do a counter and so there it goes and oh oh bubbles we had some bubbles today to reset, you can just change the name Acorns. Oh yeah. Oh well. So we can also do a, a, a reset. Like we can do Acorns reset. But here we can do um, 
a second one here I'll, I'll show you a command or, or we'll, we'll do another version of it where you can actually put in the number and it'll set it to that so like if it doesn't have a, anything in text then it'll increment it or if you put a number in it then it'll save that I think this will work and so he, here's the other idea so instead of acorns we'll say like pine cones And so here we'll do, we'll save this as, as pine count, right? Mon, Mon, how are you doing? How's it going? How was your stream? Thanks and welcome back. <laughs> welcome back and welcome back, Michael Muffin and Gemini and Elinary. Thank you for all the raid. Or we just started doing an acorn count. I've been, I've been just doing a bunch of different chat blocks tutorials. This is, we, we started out with how to make a command and, and then how to make a, a a list and pick one from a list and then how to do um, text-to-speech how to do a channel point reward how to make web calls and so and then and then now we're doing a counter and so we're gonna we're about to make a pine cone count where you can actually set pine count and pine count and so this time we're gonna do a one where you can actually set the um, the 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 pine cone count yourself if you if you like actually do it in here and so this is gonna be pretty cool but everyone you should check out mine i got some news while early so you can finish early oh i hope it's good news i hope it's really good news yeah thank you again so much for the right thank you for bringing friends in here and how's everyone doing today i hope you're having a good day happy happy wednesday happy happy wednesday <laughs> it's the best news that's so good Congratulations on the best news. Wow. Wow. See, I'm still trying to get my grandma to try chat blocks. Yeah, it's gonna be so good. See, see, this is this is how you can do this. So for instance, we have fish, right? We have we have a fish command and we just made an entire list of just different different things like fish, shrimp, conch, squid, octopus, dolphins, jellyfish. And so there's a block called make list from blocks. Or from text with the limiter comma you can put like semicolons if you want you can make that whatever you want and then there's another one that says in list you can get from a number but you can you can change that to be random instead of number so then it just grabs a random one from a number or from the list and then prints it out and says so gets it and so kabam I caught a turtle! Oh look, Eleanor, I caught a turtle! <laughs> Mega Muffin powered by Insta! Oh, Clipping Raid and Stream Pop and Pixel Plush Drop Games and all things wow! Yeah, yeah. And Pixel Plush is also powered by Maya, the amazing artist behind all of the amazing pixel arts. Wowza! Wowza! But yeah, if you if you do exclamation point fish, you can catch you can catch different different aquatic creatures at the moment. Maya ya! Isn't she incredible? She's the most amazing artist I know. Amazing. And so now we're about to do a count. We're gonna do a pine cone count. So we did an acorn count and it saves it to the browser so then it remembers it. Like this. Alright. Now what we wanna do is we wanna add a pine corn pine cone count where if if there's a, a message afterwards, so like we can do this the chat message if the chat message is a number if there's a number after pine cones like exclamation point pine cones then it's going to save that into into the thing so here's here's the plan if da -da -da -da, let's see is empty here we go if the chat message is empty then we just save the the current thing with one and so so what this means is, if the chat message is empty after exclamation point pine cones, then it just adds one, and then and then adds it to the current pine count. Otherwise, we're gonna duplicate this, and then instead of evaluating this thing, then what we're gonna do is we are going to save in the chat message like that. But here's the other thing: we only want certain people to be able to do this right like moderator and broadcaster so here's the other part yeah if the user is a broadcaster or the moderator or vip then save the storage as pine count and chat message and then you do the rest which is just 
we've collected now instead of acorns this is a space pine cones yeah and so there it is there it is here is the pine cone wow. counter where you can also set the actual thing this looks so simple right right muffin yeah i gotta do it how's the species command works yeah it's so nice and so now now we can do exclamation point pine cones two pine cones oh snap and then and then we can be like pine cones i should be able to do like 50. now we collect 50 pine cones and you can add it and then we could reset it we can be like pine cones one kabam super simple right it's so nice wow <laughs> just like that and then and then what if what if we put in like a sound effect after it? we need a we need a sound effect mm. we need like a like a wooden sound effect a sound effect let's find one free wood sound effects here we go I need like a wooden block sound effect. Fish dropped. <laughs> Why is this? <gasps> That's the one. This is the one that we need. All right. I wonder if we can actually find. Oh, oh, there's the link. Can we get this link? Download started. Ah, okay. Well then, I'm gonna show this. You can copy the download link. What is this download link? Oh, there it is. There's the download link. I wonder if this will work. Okay. So then, when we do this, we're going to do sound. And then we're like, play sound from URL. And then the URL is going to be, I wonder if we, if this works just from the download link, I would be very surprised, but it might. I tried this. It works. You should be calling it Mega Sporangia Strolilus Counter if you want it to botanically accurate. Oh, geez. Is that what it actually is? <laughs> oh, gosh. Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I can make this into an alias somehow. I think I can make this into an alias somehow, maybe. So, what we'll do is da -da -da -da, on command. Um, duplicate and then and then because it's using the same uh, pine count storage block we'll be like kabam and then mega sporangia stroll ass <laughs> and then I think this will work da -da -da. on cloud a thousand tonight oh dang dang man you must have gotten really good news <gasps> check this out we've collected Six pine cones. They told us not to call it pine cones, really? Oh, also it waits for, for the song to play, so I'm gonna put it at the end. Because we want we want the sound to play after words. After it puts it in chat. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you smell like it. Wow! That must be good news. That's like really good news. <laughs> well congratulations. Also Oh, oh. oh, look, look, look. Mega Sporangia Strobelia. Strobelus. Strobelus. Dang it. This is hard. <laughs> there are a photo of what it is in the Discord. Uh oh. Oh, it's in DMs, though. I'm not going to show everybody the DMs. But I mean, I'm going to take a peek real quick. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute! Oh snap! <laughs> this is so adorable! I don't know if I can show it on stream! Am I allowed to show it on stream? Can I show it to everybody? It's so cute! Oh, Okay, okay. I will show it. I will show you guys. Look at it! Oh snap! Oh snap! Just look at the bird! It's a baby bird! Aww, it's so cute and adorable and aww. 
Mario Fabric is so, so adorable. <laughs> oh man, Ben Bash, you're still here. Thank you so much for being here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at the baby bird. Hmm. Oh. Now right there. There you go. A new cute baby love bird. No wonder. No wonder you're so excited. Oh dang. Gemini is like burp burp burp. Burp burp burp. So cute. So cute. <laughs> wow. Can I change the for loop in chat box to be based on a list link? Oh yeah. I think you can. You can get the length of a list, and so and so it should work. Yeah, let me show you, Wapolia. Let me show you. There's a um, in in the for loop or in in lists. There's length of, and then you can do loop, and then you can say count with i from, and then you can do um, this. Oh, oh, you mean like instead of for each item i in list. Oh, I think that would work too. You can do for each item in a list, and then and then that would automatically count un through the ne the length of the list. This would be perfect, monster, monster. I don't know if we want to be famous or buy followers. Definitely don't want to buy followers. <laughs> but yeah, why monster? But yeah, I want to count by two though. Oh, oh, you can change it, so you can do this. You can do like count with and then you can put two and then you put the length of of the list that should work too so yeah definitely definitely i need to start thinking names oh, bad of our names you can't replace the 10 number hold on i'll show you you should be able to do this here we go count with j and then here i'll show you this for instance there's here's a list right oop oop wait that's not the list make list from text so I got this list, and then it'd be like length of, and then it works. Yeah, count J from one to length of list, and then count by two. Yeah, yeah, it should work. It seems to work. Maybe the length of thing didn't work properly or something, huh? But yeah, it should work. That's weird. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why it didn't work. Maybe the length of doesn't recognize as a the list as a variable or a variable as a list. To zoom in for to drag right. Oh, okay. Oops. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh dang. Well, so so mon mon. We started a new book today. This is from Sparky Pugwash, and she recommended this to me so I was like oh yeah I gotta get it I gotta get it it's called positive thinking and and this might be perfect for you and everyone today because we started it and the first thing it said was right where you should be everyone here is right where you should be today right where you're supposed to be right where when you're supposed to be and so and so if you think about that for a second we can get through everything as we need because if we believe it, then we become it. So yeah, they're making a movie about clocks. It's about time. <laughs> oh, we, we also have Fido's movie bot command. I am watching Penguin shooting up the bad guys. Whoa! <laughs> Aries wants to know what the new book is. It's called Year of Positive Thinking. So it's got an entire year from January to December, but you can start at any time by Cindy Spiegel by Cindy Spiegel and it was really cool because the intro was talking about here let me show you the intro again I thought this was really nice it says it says in some ways I'm an unlikely candidate to write a book on positive thinking because I'm a realist and I was not raised to view the world through rose-colored glasses my mom was a tough and protective yet loving and soft-hearted stay-at-home mom who had her father first the four children at age 20 and had to raise us raise us largely on her own my father was a hard drinking big-hearted blue-collar nomad until i was eight and he, when he finally moved into our home and we lived in a poor neighborhood where where there was little in the way of community support and my three older brothers and i were troubled kids and we often learned life, life lessons the hard way like like the world isn't fair always fair but it is what it is and that we would do what we could with the cards we were dealt and that there's no use crying over spilled milk and those things may absolutely be true but then as an adult 
I've learned other valuable lessons that are equally true, like I've learned that the world is filled with both abundance and scarcity, cruelty and kindness, despair and hope, and I learned that our lives are very similar to the segments and the peel of an orange, that they are both bitter and sweet, and that we can't experience one without having the other. And so, and so, I thought this was really cool, and I, I really like this. And she says, I've also learned that the ability to see light within the darkness creates a world of wide open, heart burst bursting possibility, and that, and I learned that this perspective is a choice, and that choosing positivity over negativity requires both clarity and courage. And so, these lessons that have come to me as I've immersed myself in practices and traditions and fields that explore how we can affect our mindset, including yoga, meditation, Hinduism, and Buddhism, and traditional academic education, and most notably, positive psychology. And so, and so, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. In her intro, she talks about how, how we, with brain plasticity, we're able to actually change our brain chemistry. By, by, by building out new neural pathways and reinforcing existing ones. And so that's what this book is about. And that's how she got to this, where you can, you can have an, a year of positive thinking. And then eventually, is there a command? I think there is a command that Lily made, but I forgot the name of it. I forgot the command name, but I like it. And so that's what we're trying today. That's where we started. And so, and so we have Sparky Pugwash to thank for recommending this book. And now we're going to add that on top of our yellow book, or the square book. And so it's pretty cool, right? Comfy ready stream, yeah. yeah. And so I guess that's, that, that really feels like, it feels like that's, that's what we've been about too. It's like, if we, if we get into the habit, it, it's, it's like how there's, it takes like, what, what is it, like 60 days for a habit to become, like, like for uh, something to become a habit. And so, and so if you make it a habit of just like pushing our comfort zone a little bit at a time and then making it our new level of comfort, then, then within 60 days to maybe a year, then we'll be a different people. We'll be different people that are, that's comfortable and more, more confident. And so I think that's good. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because it's a chicken and doesn't comprehend the dangers of such a choice. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you for the stretch break. Wah. Wah. Song Fox is watching kittens on a scooter. <laughs> the imagery of that. I would watch. I would totally watch a movie called Kittens on a Scooter. We watched a movie called Hamsters and Horror. Or Horror and Hamsters. I don't even know what it was. It was a terrible movie. But I mean, it wasn't that bad. It was pretty bad, but it wasn't that bad. I've seen worse movies, but, but yeah, I'll watch anything with fluffy animals in it, basically. Wow. Wow, that? But yeah, I like this book. It's pretty cool. We'll see. We'll see where it takes us, but it'll be a journey nonetheless. And so, yeah, and we created Channel Point Wards. We got bubbles. We got uh, pine cones. We got Megasporangia strobilis. And so now it all works. This is pretty neat. Here it is. I'm gonna save these blocks again, and I will rename it. I wish you could rename this much easier. This is gonna be Chat Blocks Demos Two. And so there you have it. Now we got bubbles. What do Santa's little helpers learn at school? The elf of it. <laughs> the elf of it. At least it had hamsters. Yeah, at least it was like, you know, I figured like at least half of it is bound to be pretty good because it's got hamsters. Except the hamsters weren't like half of the movie. They should have made it half of the movie. But it was close. Eleanor, thank you for contributing to the challenge. Oh, there's 25,000 already. What in the world? Wow. What in the world? How are you guys contributing so many already? It's the first day. We started a new challenge. <laughs> it's a new one. That's why he had two stars. Dang it. Coding with Scott. Welcome to the Super Fluffs. Thank you so much for the supports. And how are you doing today? Happy, happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for the supports. I hope you enjoy the emotes. It's five. I want to spread the wild of everywhere. And I hope 
that use them as much as you can, as much as you can, and as much as you like, because that's how you use it wisely. That's how you use all the emotes. Wah bam bam bam. Thank you so so much. Holy moly. Holy smokes. Thank you so so much. How about Kujo or Pet Cemetery? Pet Cemetery could be cool. I, I think that's like a really sad movie though, isn't it? Maybe it's not. I heard it's good. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna watch uh animal movies. We watched, uh, we bought a zoo yesterday for our movie night, for our weekly movie night yesterday. That was so good. Thank you again, Jupiter, for the recommendation. I love that movie. I watched it again a second time last night, and then I'm probably going to watch it again today because it's so good. It's so happy and so wholesome. I love it. And it's got Scarlett Johansson in it, too. Pretty cool. Well, they're horror movies, not family friendly. Oh, okay. Ah, that's good to know. That's good to know. Pet Cemetery is a horror movie that's not family friendly. I have more where that came from. Oh, rip. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of points. What in the world? You guys have a lot of points. Dang. Well, thank you so much. So so basically, the reason we're doing these chat blocks is we even have a command now. X Maple Challenge. I should have just made that thing. But we have a round three of the chat blocks challenge happening. And the thing is, you don't even have to make a really complex chat block. It can be a very simple one, an easy one, and it can be something like this, and then you could potentially win a Fluffington badge. I'm gonna mail this out to the three winners, and the way it works is we're gonna do votes, but the voting of the chat blocks isn't isn't how you win. It, it means that's how many draw, how many entries you get into the drawing. And so, you have a really good chance of winning because there's three winners that we're going to pick this time. But not only that, not only that, because of the third one, you can you can enter in. If, if, if your chat block also didn't win before, you could also just modify it a little bit and then enter it again. And it'd be pretty cool because then, I mean, even if your chat block did win, you can still modify it and enter it again. But I encourage everyone to just even just try it. Try it out. They're very simple. And, and I'll, I'll like highlight this entire segment of, of, of the, the stream today and then that'll be kind of like the, the chat blocks walkthrough of, of demos of what you can do with chat blocks. But yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Very fun. Who won? Wait, who won what? I can't show that on stream. Gothra, what? Gothra, <laughs> that's not good. That's not a, that's not a good image for everyone here. It's nature, but not good. <laughs> we gotta keep that with Sam family friendly. I was going oh to my make goodness! Joke, but since time, oh my goodness! To the, thread, the good ones are good. Wow! Oh my golly! Maybe I should clean up the species block because it's literally just the list. Yeah, you could do that totally. Ooh, totally. Gothrod! Oh my goodness! You know, there's kids around and everything too in our channel, right? Yeah, I can't post that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we can post puffy images, but, but yeah, that could be shocking to some fake people. <laughs> and Aries, thank you so much for the previous challenge. Holy cream. Do you want a preview of my chat block made? Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, I'd love to see that. That would be great. I'm pretty excited. I actually haven't played the new remake of The Link's Awakening. I've only seen it. And so that would be pretty neat. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, check it out. Check it out. Yes, there's neither one. Oh my goodness, Gothron. Must be in an interesting mood today. Okay. This is a Twitch -a sketch at my map. Oh, oh. I think I broke something. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. This is so cool. Oh, check it out. Whoa. It's like etch a sketch, but twitch a sketch. Oh, day. Oh, day. Some days listen to people pretend like they're always perfect drivers and never responsible. For wow. What? What kind of mood are you in today? What in the world is happening? <laughs> oh, day. Oh, day. Yeah, nobody's perfect. Yeah. But you do have to be careful. Wow. This is really cool. Wow. Oh, dang, Wapolia. 
This is amazing. Hey, it's your job to listen to auto insurance phone calls and transcribe them. Oh wow. Wow, that's gotta be an interesting, interesting days. Y'all. Dang. That's gotta be pretty cool though, at least, right? You get to talk to people and listen to them. But yeah. Hopefully, hopefully they you gotta you, you gotta tell them, yeah, drive safe. Remember, there's there's a lot of responsibility in, in handling a big machine hurry. It's, a, it's frustrating day. Well, hopefully, hopefully things will be better for you soon. Dang. I'm sorry that it's so frustrating. Oh wow! You can do stretch like that. Whoa, 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 wait. Does that mean you can do let's see? 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 20, 30, 10, wait, 20, 40, 10, 50. I want to try this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I think I broke it. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try this again. Oh, it is working. Oh, oh, it made a triangle. This is cool. This is super cool. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. This is amazing. And then we could do for like. Da, 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 da. I'm going to do 10. I'm going to make them hundreds like this. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Guys, I think Guthron needs a little bit of a hug today. And so if you guys Whoa! could, we can do exclamation point hug Guthron. I hope that you don't let it get to you and get to go down too much. But yeah. Dang. Dang. I'm so sorry I have to deal with a lot of that stuff. That's sad. That's gotta be very, very hard. So. Dang. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Dang. Y'all, sounds like rough times. Okay. Well, this is really neat. Thank you for showing us, Wapolia. Whoa. How come it, how come it does these, um, like the, the squiggly lines? What does that mean? What does this mean? Like, they're not like, like straight lines, and, and sometimes it does this. Is this, like, the, the way... It, um, like it, it moves the line. There's some randomness in trying to emulate Etch a Sketch. Oh, that's pretty neat. So it, it kind of like like tries to make it a little bit random so that it, it, you're like, because like like diagonal lines with Etch a Sketch, it's really hard. You can't get like perfect lines like it. And so yeah, that's pretty neat. You, yeah, of course, Twitch a Sketch all the time, always. <laughs> Yo, this is really cool. Oh, dang. Wow. This is a this is a really, really neat idea. Whoa, I love it, I love it. Wow. This will be so fun. It's meant to be an overlay. I could try it as an overlay. I wonder what this would look like as an overlay. Let me try this. Uh, browser. Okay. Twitch a sketch. And then I'll put it in here. How big should the overlay be? Oops. Whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna try like this. Refresh browser when it comes active and sometimes when not visible. Yes, alright. Here we go. I did it. I tried it. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's try it. Hiya! It works! Oh, look, 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 look! <laughs> Holy cram! And check this out! There's an etch sketch now on stream! Holy cram! <laughs> let's, let's put it up there. Let's leave it. I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it down here so you can actually have a background to, to kind of see it. But yeah, there it is. What? 
<laughs> now try to draw a 2D link with the sketch command. Oh snap. That's gonna be tough. This is like Twitch plays sketch, etch et a sketch. Whoa. Wow. And then and then you could probably also put in like um like a like a renderer for for like to have it generate the different vectorized drawings. Cause then it could draw the vectorized like drawing and then it'll generate the XY values. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! What is SVG? I need a, I need an SVG sample. SVG example, basic shapes, yes. Alright. Uh a circle. No, I don't need a circle. Mmm. Let's see. I need, a, I need an example. Simple SVG examples will make your jaw drop. Okay. Well, not this, not this. Da -da -da -da. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking. But am I a master since you can use, yeah, she really can. I bet so. I try to draw it too really like, oop. I want to add commands to change colors and fills clears and clear. That would be awesome. Okay, I want to try, um, Simple vector art. SVG. Like this fish. Is this an SVG? No, no, that's not an SVG. But let's see. Ooh, ooh. 20,000. What? Okay. Vector art. How would we find one? See, example. There's gotta be. Okay, I'm gonna find some. Apparently these are these are examples as well. I just want different shapes. Ray caster bot, maybe add shapes. I wanna see if we can find one. Like what is this? This is a curve, right? Open image and new tab. That's a PNG. Hmm. I want to find something. Circle, plot, XY, list. No. SVG two X Y. I'm gonna try something different. All right, all right. Let's see. Uh, circle to polygon. X Y. Approximate circle of the polygon. I just need a a line a list. You can approximate it. Hmm. All right, you know what? You know what? This is what I'm gonna do then. Here, we'll look at this, and then we're just gonna create. <laughs> we're just gonna generate it ourselves because this is ridiculous. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, we're gonna do da 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 da. Four. Let i equal zero. I is less than. Let's see how many. How many are we gonna need? We're gonna need like fifty of them, right? Or no? Let's just like do like twenty points. 20 points is fine. A uh, plus plus. Okay. And it's going to be um, console that log. Um, let's see. Uh, math cosine of i divided by 20 times math pi times 2. So I guess this will be just like. 10 huh. comma math floor of 100 times this and then da -da -da, of sign van let's see here we go oh rip Oh rip, it put it all into one. Oh rip, 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 rip. I'm gonna try something, I'm gonna fix it. All right, so what 
we're gonna do is is um this ID sucks. <laughs> you cancel my cringe functions. This this is what we need. All right, so I'm gonna do this. Let r equal I guess a equals this, and then for da da ba ba, I'll do a dot push command of that right, and then a dot push that and then we're gonna do uh, a console log a dot let's see join space this should theoretically work oh yeah all right there it is so now we do whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on let's do this again we need to update it. We need to do like, let's do like 500 plus, 200 plus, two, 300, 400 plus. And then this will be 400 plus. All right, perfect. Ooh. Oh no, oh no, I erased it. 400 plus, 400 plus, yeah. All right, perfect. Here we go, we got the plots. X mini point sketch, qua bam. Will this work? I can't see it. I can't see it. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna refresh it. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Oh. Is it working? It's working. Oh look 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 look. It's approximated the circle. Wow. <laughs> Holy cream. We got a circle, folks. Ba bum. Oh yeah, we got the maths. Thank you for the lurk areas. Niggas go off screen, you need an offset. Yeah, we did it. Can we incorporate Python onto the website? Uh, there's no Python interpreter built into a web browser. So when people made web browsers, they basically said, hey, well, JavaScript is the language that we're going to support and integrate into, into here as our coding language. So that's why. Yeah, and during great, how are you doing? And Wally, happy, happy Wednesday. Happy, happy Wednesday. Perfect circle. That's perfect ish. <laughs> it's perfect ish. Okay, so so the other problem is it needs to make a full circle back. And so here's what I realized we need mm, 21. Because then it's going to do a full circle back. And that should work. Yes. All right, so if we do this, aha, uh -huh. aha, uh -huh. there we go, there we go. And then we can be like, sketch it. It should work. It's gonna like trace it over again. But ha, huh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You know what this means? We can make a chat block for this. I bet we can make a chat block for this. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, we need a math. We can do. Let's see. Da, 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 da. On command. Oh snap! Theme to how are you doing? How's it going? Oh, wait, wait, I can't see it. We need a. I, I need a background. I'm gonna set a background for this. Oh, you can kind of see it here. All right. I think I can do RGB color. Uh, we're gonna do RGBA is going to be 0.5. I think that'll make it a little bit more transparent. Maybe. Maybe. I think it'll work. We'll find out. Aya! It didn't do it. What? I think it just made it completely transparent. What? Activity 5? Oh wait, when, when you do RGBA, is it 255 or is it 1.0? This is a good question. Wah, hiya. Did it make it? It made it darker, didn't it? Uh -oh. I think it's supposed to be one. Let me try this again. Hiya. What? What? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. 
my uncle named her Hannah. We can rename her, but but at the moment I'm thinking of keeping it. Hannah's a good name for the bird. I like that. That's a good name. Background color. This should work. Hmm. Maybe it's because of the canvas color. I think it is supposed to be 255. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, oh, now it works. <laughs> can you see Sharp on a website? You kind of can. Um, there's there's a thing called Blazor. So, so I'm not an expert at this, but C Sharp Fritz is the leader of our live coders team. And so if you go check out C Sharp Fritz, then, then he actually works on a lot of different web apps and websites using Blazor. And then it basically changes it into JavaScript code and everything for you. And so that's, that's a way that you can build websites using C Sharp. Pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that name. You should keep it. Definitely. Here we go. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do a chat block that actually generates a circle for us. This is the plan. It is the plan. Is he also a streamer? Yeah, he's a partner streamer. He's very very good at streaming. And so here we go. Sketch. I'm gonna do a search sketch circle. And then here we are going to put in and do say and it'll be create text with and it'll be exclamation point sketch space and we need to come up with a list so we have to do count we basically have to do the exact same thing count to 20 or 21 by one and then we're going to put into a list so create empty list and we got to put into a variable so we're going to create a variable this is going to be a uh, polygon polygon of uh, vertices yo set polygon vertices to an empty list and then inside each each time we are going to add in let's see where is it in list we can add right make list from text no way no way wait a minute i mean we don't need to make a list but i guess all right we won't need a list then we'll just add it into a into thing we'll do set polygon vertices to we'll just do empty oh we don't really need that huh? all right and then text we can append to the text to to polygon vertices we are going to append Ba, 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 ba. Uh, let's see, offset. The offset is going to be 500, 400, plus the cosine of k. Wow. Where's k? Variable. k. And it needs to be k. We have to do some math to it. K divided by and then 10 times ba, ba, ba. Da, 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 da. ten <laughs> times pi. Pi is gonna be three point one four one five nine two six five three five. All right. That's good enough, right? All right, and then you do this. We also have to append um, a space in between. And so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this right here. And then we want a space right between there. And we have to do that at the end of this too. Wah! And this will be sign of, I think I get this right. Hi from Argentina, how are you doing? How's it going Archangel and Linus? Happy, happy Wednesday, it's good to see you. Ooh, ooh that's a nice circle. Oh, oh, look at those pretty circles. Oh, dang. 
Phoebe, that's so awesome. I like that. That looks great. Cause I don't want for creating a website. I want to add games and stuff to my CV website. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then you could definitely do it in C sharp. I know people. Hey, sister is Ellie, and so the name fit together. All oh, day. Mon. Eleanor. Eleanor. Did you know? I mean, yeah, probably. But Mon has a bird already named Ellie. It's like your name. Gotta run some errands. All right. All right, Raleigh. Thank you again so much for hanging out with us. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you next time. Thank you again so much for the supports, by the way. Thank you so much and good luck with the, the errands today. We'll probably finish up here pretty soon, but I wanted to get this working. I think this will work. Uh, so probably going to this is this because we, what we need to do is we have to reset it because after we do sketch circle, we don't want to like keep adding onto it. So we have to reset it to be empty. And then we do this. And then after that, we're like sketch and polygon vertices. I put a space in between, right? Yeah. All right. So if we do sketch circle, I think this will work. Did you make the sketch thing in chat blocks? No, no, no. That's what poly is. It's what poly is tool. This is what poly is thing with the edge of sketch. I'm going to refresh it. Okay. There we go. And then let's do X mage point sketch circle. And I broke it. It's broken. Why is it broken? It didn't work. Why didn't it work? I broke it again. <laughs> Sir Rose made art. I seen her eyes. She has eyes. Oh, it's like she's the cutest caribou. Mm. Pet monkey would be cool, Dylan. Ellie is a pupper. Oh. Oh. Mon, you have a pupper named Ellie? That's a really cute name for a pet. A sketchy man I made in chat box and yeah, and I don't know what happened. I broke it. Uh oh. Why didn't it do it? K and cosine of divide by. That is divide by. Yeah, and then 10 times. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, oh. I have a problem here too. I have to do another thing. I have to do. Um, to do this yeah this is actually supposed to be like a hundred times like that and then I need to do the same thing for the other one too I have to do 100 multiplied by a sign of this and I need to do a floor round round is fine where's round where did round go? Oh, oh, round. Oops. Round. Yeah. And uh, duplicate. Get rid of this part. And I'll do round. All right. So this should work, right? Let's see. What? What? <laughs> Hold on a second. What in the world? Okay. I'm going to log debug to console. And then we're going to see what's happening with polygon vertices each time and so now I'm gonna run it and then I'm gonna run sketch circle is broken why is it broken all right log debug to console all right doing this again Hiya! it didn't even print it out why not from 1 to 21 should this be like 0 to 21 oh yeah 0 to 21 0 to 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And set polygon vertices. And so I'm going to do this and log. OK, sketch circle. I'm breaking something. What did I break? It says it's connected. It should be fine. Oh, 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 I put an exclamation point at the beginning. Why did I do that? I figured it out. There's a comfy JS error? Oh no, it's, it's because I had an exclamation or an exclamation circle. It would have worked if I did exclamation or exclamation circle. Oops. Oops. Wait, chat translator is working? Oh no, what's wrong? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Chat, connect chat translator. Oh, oh. You mean the, the Twitch chatbot or do you mean the Twitch extension? The Twitch extension currently is broken, but 
the chatbot is working. The chatbot, like like we can we can say things like bonjour, and and then it says hello. And so yeah, the the Twitch extension right right now is currently broken. I'm sorry about that. It's probably gonna be a while before I actually get around to fixing it. Yeah, you see, I found the I found the cute baby Yoda mask reminder IRL. Did you really? I haven't seen it yet, Linus. What? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And Linus, how have you been? I hope you've been doing well. We're gonna. Oh, oh! Did you see? We have a new community challenge now. We have a new community challenge. Anna, how are you doing? How's it going? Happy, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Posted in general. Oh, I haven't gotten to see it yet, y'all. I've been streaming, but let me see if I can find it. All right, here we go. Check it out. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you found it. You found the image. You found the thing with the, with the baby Yoda. How did you find that? Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. That's amazing. Holy smokes. I can't believe it. I'll show you. I'm going to open it. And then I'll zoom in, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Check it out! It's a little baby Yoda on a mask that says, This is the way to wear a mask. Not this, and not this, and not this. But this and this and this. <laughs> this is the way to wear a mask, folks. This is the way. And and Linus found it. Holy cow, it had a lot to do with school. But, but I'm doing good, that's good. That's good. And Anna, happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a good week so far. This is the way. We're we're making chat block thing, and I think it's gonna work now. What? Oh, oh, oh! Hold on. Sketch circle. Ah! Is it working? Did it work? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's broken. <laughs> I definitely broke it. What did I break? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let me see. I should probably leave that one there, but I'll I'll leave the other one out of there, and let's see. Let's figure out what's wrong with our uh, math function here. So it does append text, it does round, and then it does 400 plus, right? Plus, yes. So this is the offset. And then it does 100 times the cosine of k minus, uh, divided by 10. So k over 10 times pi, because that's 2 pi, which is up to 20. So 2 pi times k. I have a 10. I think it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, this makes sense. And then, yeah, it does the same. And so what? Did it round all weird? Hmm. It's doing it in degrees. It's doing it in degrees, not radians. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I can figure it out. It's doing it in degrees, folks. Oh rip. All right. It's about 360 times like 10 degrees, right? Wait, 20, 20. So, so what we need to do is we have to do 20. Divide by 20 times, uh, yeah, k divided by 20 times 10. Sure. Uh, divide by 20 times like 10 degrees. Oh boy. That's not gonna work. Oh no. I have a better plan. We don't, we can simplify all this. We can be like k. Okay, hiya, hiya, because it's in degrees, all we have to do is go 360 and then go up, count up by like 20 degrees, right? And then it's gonna do it, and then it'll work. Yup, yup, this is what we need. This is what we need. I'm doing well, Anna, thank you for asking. Thank you so, so much. What is the syntax for it? Oh, you just do X, Y pairs and you can put as many as you like. And so this should work, I think. Ah, there we go. 
there we go. It should draw the circle. Where is it? It is. It's drawn. It's drawn. It. Look. 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 We did it in chat blocks, folks. Not only did we do it inside a console window, now we did it in chat blocks. Check it out, fully. Bam! <laughs> I can't believe it worked. So, okay, usted is this stuff. Oh yeah, in your channel, y'all be up. Yeah. And Ryan, how is it going? The potato man. Happy, happy Wednesday. I'm good, thanks. Been busy studying, so popped in just for a little bit to say hi. Aw, oh, thank you so much for popping in to say hi, Anna. Yeah, we'll probably wrap it up here very soon, but tomorrow we're actually going to start with the, the the coding game challenge, the fall challenge. Where did it go? Oops. Oops. This is so cool that you found this. Holy cow. <laughs> Linus, how'd you find it? And look, look, look. This is, this is Mon's new baby bird. So cute. That's so cute. Oh my golly. And then here it is. See you tomorrow. All right, Gothron. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good luck. Good luck with everything today. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Alanuri. Right? She's amazing. It's amazing. And everyone, let's wish good luck to Anna, by the way. Anna's busy with school and with all the classes. And so, you can do it. You can do it. Do it. Here we go. What I want to show you guys is COVID game. So right now, there's a fall challenge. It's happening in 18 hours, and so I hope you guys are ready for this because we're gonna play some coding game very soon, and we are going to. Oh look, look! Where's more folks in our team now? Oh, we got Wolfie in here, and we got who's this? Morgan Lewis. Oh yeah. Ah oh, snap. We got folks in here. Good luck, Anna. You can do it. I hope that everything goes well for you with all the class today and, and the rest of this week. It's on my way to school, but on a corner, I normally don't pay attention, so I just saw it today. Wow. That's so awesome. Oh, day. Oh, day. Wowza. Yeah. yeah meeting time. All right, good luck, good luck with I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck with the meeting. Everyone needs all the luck today. It'll be a good week. And Ryan the Potato Man, thank you for all the bubbles. And Tenji Sensei, thank you for the bubbles. Bubbles! <laughs> Who doesn't like bubbles, right? I need to I need to put in more bubbles. I, I should make a, a a particle thing that just like bubbles, because that's one of my favorite memories of all time, and I've been wanting to make that forever, but I haven't yet. And so I'll probably do that soon. Where we just have bubbles. Ah, bubbles will be so good. How can I join the team? Oh, so if you go to, ooh, ooh, I have it running. Cup of a bam. There it is. We made a chat block for it. And so, and so if you go to the site and you register for the, the fall challenge, then all you got to do to join the team is to set your company to InstaFluff. You just go here and you just like search InstaFluff and it should be there. Look, 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 right there. Hooray! And there it is. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Thank you, Tenchi. And so then you can join the team and then and then we're gonna try and see if we can get to the top of the, the company leaderboard. This will be the team leaderboard. Because some folks also join other other teams as schools. And so I mean I have both, but the company is the one that we're probably gonna focus on. And then and then we'll have the solo one. So that will be for everybody. That that's individual com competitions. And so we'll see how how far we can get. But that's gonna start tomorrow. That's what we're gonna do tomorrow. It should be a great time. And so hopefully we'll we'll see. This is this is what's gonna happen for the next week and a half. And it'll be kind of like 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 the game jam, like the loot and dark game jam. We'll probably be working on this for quite a bit, and we'll mix in other streams in between there. But the coding game fall challenge is what we're gonna be focusing on for the rest of the weekend and next week. So yeah. oh look look look, oh, thank you Patrick. Oh look at that. We're drawing a lot of really cool stuff with this now. Yeah, it's relative. It's relative to where it is. And so, and so, whoops. <laughs> or, well, oh, oh, well, it's it's like the, um, it, it uses absolute x, y values, but it, it moves from relative to where the, the last cursor was. Can you please repeat how can I join the coding team? Oh, oh, so you go here and you join the fall challenge. And then in your in your profile, when you when you join, you can set the company 
the company to be Insta Fluff. You just type and you can find it. And it should be the one that ha that's on the very, very top. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Ooh. Yo, and then you can join us. This will be so fun. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed the, the chat box. The chat box today is working. You know, you know, I have another idea. We could probably also do um, like sketch circle and then have it be like have it set the radius. That would work. I don't want to worry about it right now, but you could totally do that. That would be pretty neat. All right. So this works, sketch circle works. We got our pine cones, we got counters. Let's see, what else did we do? We got a bubbles command. We got bubbles channel point rewards. We got text to speech, excuse me. And you got a, oh, that's the hello command. That's the basic one. We can, we can fish. We can do a fault challenge. Oh, here we go. Oh, sorry, Anna. Oh, oops. I, I didn't have a running at the moment. <laughs> there it is. I, I think I can also do bubbles like this. Oh, and I caught a fish. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so good. <laughs> we need more bubbles. I'm spamming my own chat. We got all the bubbles, folks. Oh, rip. <laughs> oh no, it was supposed to work. What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh boy. <laughs> We're going to have so many bubbles. Oh gosh. Could you imagine? Like, like we could have bubbles just like, like popping up out of nowhere and then just... <laughs> Come on, it's time out to spam more. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna get timed out. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I love that sound. I love the sound of bubble. Ooh, I caught a pupper fish. So yeah. So I guess, let's see. Do we have to do anything else with this? I'm gonna take a look. Pine cones are there. All right, so with that, I'll save these blocks. I'll post it into the chat blocks. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna save these blocks again and then run it again. Okay, this is going to be show in folder. Uh, instead of chat blocks down. All right, this will be chat blocks demo. Demo blocks or, or, or examples.cvs. And then what I'll do is we have in our discord if you guys aren't on discord yet join us this is where we hang out outside of stream and all you gotta do is go to choose your roles and click this bunny we have almost 700 people that click the bunny who's gonna be the 700th one what in the world holy cram this <laughs> that's a lot and so we have a channel called chat blocks challenge right now and these are the chat blocks examples that you could take a look at and so examples from today's chat blocks stream Wow. And then you can check it out. You can delete the blocks that you don't like and you can keep the ones that you like. And then and then if you make your own versions of them, you can modify them and any part of this you can modify and then and then you can just be like, "Hey, this is cool."